President Isayas Afwerki says TPLF junta will be buried within a few weeks. On his brief about the current fight between the federal government of Ethiopia and the TPLF, Isayas said that the city of Desi has been a trap though that trap is now broke. TPLF is on its life and death struggle right now. The time has now come nearer. To be specific about the life of TPLF, it won't take more than few weeks, he added. When TPLF waged war on neighboring Amhara and Afar regions after the withdrawal of the federal government troops from Mekali and Tigray, most people thought and widely convinced that, that the Ethiopian military force was weakened. But the military withdrawal and the retreat was tactical decision on purpose. There were significant diplomatic and military benefits and gains from that crucial decision. TPLF has buried extensive and large mechanized military weapons on strategically selected underground areas before the breakout of the conflict as they were long preparing themselves for that cruel objectives. TPLF used to own highly skilled military personnel. They managed to steal several military weapons because of their sudden attack on Northern Command. They were able to weaken the military capacity of the federal government as the result. When the federal government troops counterattacked and managed to reverse the situation and recover from the initial military harm and losses, and regained the military control, TPLF started to play another ball, President Isayas continued. They started restructuring their military bases and increased the recruits and attacked the neighboring regions and even voiced that they will be controlling the capital, Addis Ababa and reseat on the government position. The last three months, being the rainy season which was coupled with the Tigray's ragged and mountainous topography helped them gain some military advantages. In addition to these advantages, the heavy external pressures coming from America and Europe have given a huge strength for TPLF. After analyzing all these, the Ethiopian authorities retreated their military bases by declaring the unilateral ceasefire. By doing so, they managed to save unnecessary military sacrifices and casualties on top of their diplomatic gains. The federal government now has built a very strong and long-term national military capacity and defense taking into account all the current regional matters. TPLF's strong trap-up until Desi from Mekali has been broken and they suffered huge military losses. Their buried and hidden mechanized military weapons are either destroyed or taken away by Ethiopian military forces. TPLF is surrounded and entered into the trap and on its final death and life stages, and has no capacity to survive now, even if they can increase their military personnel by recruiting, their capacities to own and maintain large mechanized military weapons and machineries hugely destroyed. Their options now are so limited. Taking all the facts on the ground, the Ethiopian military forces can regain and control city of Mekali within shorter period, he underscores. Once the Ethiopian forces controls Mekali, there won't be any military challenges similar to those existed in previous time. Their personnel lacks military trainings and expertise, psychologically demoralized, hopeless with no mechanized weapons. It would be an easy task for the central government forces to get the job done quickly. The president bin asked whether the TPLF has hope of survival or not. He categorized his answers to the question into three scenarios as follow. Scenario 1. TPLF can win and control Addis Ababa. If this is going to happen, the Eritrean force can seize Mekali with no time. But this is not going to happen and also the outcome won't be good for them, they know this very carefully. Scenario 2. The war can take longer than expected. When the fights continue for longer time, it definitely causes frustrations and might end up with that the Ethiopian government starting to think about negotiations with TPLF. We can't see that happening either because of the aforementioned reasons. Scenario 3rd. TPLF will be defeated. As the facts on the ground indicate TPLF will be destroyed and defeated sooner. By analyzing the conditions from all angles, the president is fully confident that the third scenario will definitely be the final outcome. The fate and the issue of TPLF is within a matter of short span of time, he concluded. Oh that's great your excellency. Thank you Mr. President. We wish you long life, health and full strength. Thanks for your time. 
If you enjoyed our presentation, please give us a like, and share this to others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified as soon as we upload new videos. And also feel completely free to comment. Thanks again.